bountifully. Now, his sowing parable here has to do with their giving in this context, just, just the finances, the giving to these other people. It says in verse 7, Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. Now he that ministereth seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed sown, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God, for the administration of this service not only supplieth the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto God. Whilst by the experiment of this ministration, they glorify God for your professed subjection unto the gospel of Christ and for your liberal distribution unto them and unto all men. And by their prayer for you, which long after you for the exceeding grace of God in you. Thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift. Now, I want to make a couple of points here. One, I'm not preaching this because I think that like you all need to give more to the church because this has nothing to do with that's not why this subject coming up at all. This is just a virtue to have about being liberal. This is not I'm not preaching on tithing, I'm not preaching anything like that. It has more way more to do with your personal interactions just with other people in general. Especially with the brethren, but just other people in general and just how you kind of View your own goods and your own life and, and the way that you manage your own resources and the, and, the, and the type of person, if you could be looked at as a generous person or someone who's real stingy and tied and not allowing anything, right? And the Bible's talking about here that the, the liberal spirit, the liberal attitude being more free and, and the liberal distribution is going to go very far. It's a good attribute to have. To, bury, to be very free and open with your goods and with your stuff, especially when people have need to help them out in their times of need and to not even give it a second thought and not worry about it. Now, he quoted here in verse number nine, it says, as it is written, he quotes the Old Testament. And we're going to take a look at the context of this verse, which is found in Psalm 112. So what he's quoting says, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. This is a, a, a quote from Psalm 112, verse 9. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor, the righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. And the interesting thing is that earlier in, the, in Psalm 112, it also talks about basically having this liberal soul. Verse number 4 says, Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. So he's saying a good man's going to lend. Oh, you're in need? Here you go. I'll lend unto you. I'll give unto you. I'll help you out. Already went over the subject of usury. Obviously, we're not talking about lending to make a gain then off of the person, off your brother that's in need. You know, you lend because you love them and you're trying to help them out and say, okay, I could do without this. Here, you need it more than I do. The core value here of being liberal has the same mindset that John the Baptist had when he was trying to point people to Christ. He said, he must increase, but I must decrease. It's the same attitude that says, I'm going to esteem others better than myself, as it says in Philippians chapter 3. It's the same mind that was in Christ. Christ came to be a servant not to be ministered unto. He came to minister. He came to help other people out. He came and spent his time and devoted his resources into helping other people. And this is the mindset that we ought to have. Being liberal with our things, not being so wrapped up into hoarding away whatever, it is, you know, just, just all these goods and all this stuff and just keeping it locked up and locked tight and just there it sits. There is so much more that can be done with those resources. So much more. Why let it sit? What's it good for? I started to get that same question in my mind. I see the, you know, we, we had some food and some other things stacked up. And again, I'm not saying that it's a, a bad thing or a sin to have stuff. 
But after a while, I'm looking going, this stuff is just collecting dust. Eventually, it's just going to go bad. Like, what, and what good is that going to do? That's why I encourage you, if you do do the preparation stuff, you need to be cycling through that and still using it so it doesn't just go to waste. Be smart about that. But then it's like, look, if someone else has a need for something, you know, I, I could look at all kinds of things that we, we've had stored up in our garage or wherever and just like, I haven't used this in years. And I hear someone else saying, oh, I got to do this project. Here you go. Take it. Right. Because that's that that's the what good is it going to do just sitting on a shelf? Especially with the physical goods. It's all going to just be burned up, destroyed. It's all going to everything breaks over time anyways. It only lasts so long. And honestly, where is your heart? Who cares? Do we really care about the little things and the stuff? We should.